If you have been following my career as I am building it <laughs> for the Transmetronome device, not only my first book, The Transmetronome Device, Book One, The Tangled Web of Betrayal, uh, creating my own uh, realm, so to speak, to produce a full length feature film and now a pilot I'm shooting simultaneously for a miniseries. Uh, take a look. I'm a one man band and I'm building all my own props. And this is one of my many inspirations. Tunisia, North Africa. Here, George Lucas and a film crew of 130 people from England. 130 the people. States, recreated the planet of Tatooine, a strange world where the robots landed after their escape from the Imperial forces. To create the world of Tatooine, cargo planes and oversized trans-European moving vans brought thousands of pieces of equipment and props to the remote Tunisian desert. Construction crews worked for two months to build the dwellings and towns of the exotic planet. Construction crews, they worked a couple months. Crews, I'm a one-man band, like I said. Believe me, when I get my full length feature film done you guys you guys are all going to be very very uh impressed and you will appreciate the long wait in the meantime later this year i am going to release the pilot so you can start to get your feet wet so to speak inside my realm of the transmetronome device a time travel saga like no other and star wars when i was a eight-year-old boy it just started the fire inside me that has grown all these years. And now that I am an independent author, I will be an independent filmmaker once the film is completed. But I have done a lot of short uh, films and, and various other things, whether it's comedy or whatnot. But uh, when the Transmetronome device pilot hits, uh, hits later this year, you will not be disappointed. And you will see that it has been worth this very long wait. Because everything from building helmets, armor, <laughs> robots, like the little guy here. Whoop! <laughs> and I'm sitting up here so the dogs don't knock him down. I'm knocking down. Uh, Buck 299. He still has a little ways to go yet. Um, Barn you likes him. A bar. <laughs> uh, once I finish, you know, different things like Buck Two Ninety Nine there, and I capture them on film with my widescreen movie camera. Believe me, and then do the special effects and post production. It may not be a Star Wars uh, realm, but. It is going to be very, very believable. And when you watch it, you will surely say, wow. You know, it has been a long time. It's been many years. But so glad that he took the time to do it right. So that when it come, comes out, you will see. It might not be Star Wars. You know, the, the transmission device is going to be its own, you know, sci-fi time travel fantasy but I do pride myself in you know doing a good job when it makes its debut I want everybody to really you know watch it and say wow you really took the time to give us something really awesome I don't want it to be some I've said it before I don't want it to be some you know low budget you know rated b c type of uh I, I want it to be spot on and i want it to be something that people are really gonna love and want to come back and see more of. so thanks for watching this video it's almost five minutes long as you guys already know i am long-winded so thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to watch my videos in their entirety because after all these years if you don't do that you already have discovered that you miss a lot by not watching them all. So make sure you have the time to sit down and watch them all. Thank you. Love you guys.